I feel myself that that Ryan beat Devin Haney fair and square. Until that B sample comes in, we're gonna know what the uh, the next proper steps are. All right, Oscar Delahoy is the CEO of Golden Boy Promotions. His company has partnered with El Rey Rebel Fast Channel, air some of the most memorable fights in recent history as part of the new Friday Night Fight series. So Oscar, that got me thinking. If you could only watch one of your old fights, just right. one, which one would it be? Probably I Corte. I, I always loved that fight. I think it was one of those um, one of those fights where it was do or die, literally. It, it was almost like punching in the mirror. Every punch I would throw, he would throw back. He would take the punches. We went down, I went down, um, and the 12th round was just so classic. Almost like um, a, a, a winning Rocky moment, you know, bell rings, you both are tired, you raise your hands up, both guys think they won. It was a, it was a very entertaining fight. That was an incredible fight. Um, what's the fight that people ask you about, though, the most? Uh, I think it's the Vargas fight. Yeah, the Vargas, the, the Vargas fight and the first Mosley fight. For some reason, yeah, for some reason they loved, they loved those fights. And and ironically, they both tested positive for steroids. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the last couple of fights of your career, two of the last three were losses to Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. If you could go back yes. to say, right around 2010, when you were you know out of the game but still thinking about the game, if you sure. could have rematched one of them. Which one would it have been? Um, one of them. I mean, I obviously both of them. But um, ah, wow, probably probably the Pacquiao fight. If I was in my prime, if I was in on weight, I mean, who knows? Obviously, it, it would have been a different turnout. But um, that fight would have been an amazing, amazing fight to watch. Yeah, when I fought Manny, I just, I just, I had nothing. I had by walking up the ring, I was already winded and tired. Um, just from losing so much weight. But um, yeah, I would love to do that fight over again because the, the Mayweather fight was such a close fight where it could have gone either way. I mean, give me the draw or something. Uh, the Manny Pacquiao fight was a total embarrassment. So I, I would I would redo that one. That's interesting because, I mean, Pacquiao was obviously at the end for you. You knew immediately afterwards that it was over. The Floyd fight, I, I'm guessing you thought when that final bell rang, I guess you thought you won that fight. I, I would thought that would stick with you more than than the Pacquiao loss. No, no, I, I, it's you know I'm a competitor, and you know if I if I had a good fight uh, against the very best fighter at the time, um, I I uh, you know I'm gonna move on and 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 take that as a win. But Pacquiao just you know obviously demolished me. Um, I had nothing to fire back with. And so knowing knowing that it wasn't me up in the ring, knowing that, you know, a hundred percent, yeah, I would I would I would have loved to run that back only if I was if I can turn back the clock. You know, you've been a busy guy over the last few weeks and you know, experienced some highs and lows certainly over the last few weeks. And one of the biggest stories still in the news to this day is is Ryan Garcia and everything that's happening with him mm -hmm. right now. At this point, Oscar, we know that on May twenty second the B sample of Ryan's test is going to be tested uh, yeah. by VADA. You know that more often than not, the A sample comes back as the B sample. So I guess my question for you is, is what is being done right now to try to get Ryan Garcia clear of this? What is being done to try to clear Ryan's name? All, all we can do is wait for the B sample. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's what is it innocent until it's proven guilty um you know that's the country we live in and there are there is protocol there is um you know protocol that we have to follow we have to wait for the b sample and there's really nothing you can do i mean ryan obviously is is uh is stating that he's innocent and and rightfully so because i i feel myself that he is innocent I feel myself that that Ryan, you know, went up in the ring uh, with his abilities, uh, with his with his uh, talent, and, and and beat Devin Haney fair and square. So until that B sample comes in, 
um, we're we're gonna know what the uh, the next proper steps are. What will your reaction be if the B sample comes back the same as the A? I I, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's uh, you know obviously obviously that hasn't taken place, but I I can't. I can't speak on the future. Um, you know, this is a very delicate situation, and and I have to, I have to, I have to stick with Ryan. I have to make sure that Ryan has support at this moment. I mean, I can't imagine what what he's going through, what he has to defend, and 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 rightfully so because he feels and knows that he's that he's innocent. So. You know, Ryan needs somebody like me to to know that that I have his back and that I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm with him at this moment right now, a thousand percent. So you mentioned Vegas. You are fresh off a trip to Vegas to watch Jaime Munguia against Canelo Alvarez. Right. I know there are no moral victories in boxing, Oscar, but uh, you know, I take away from that fight that Munguia established himself as a real threat at 168. I mean, I was among the people that thought at some point he would walk into a bomb and there would be a bad knockout. Right. He went the distance. He threw yeah. punches. He was aggressive. He fought to win. Uh, how did you feel about the way Munguia performed? I, I was proud of him for for going 12 rounds with the uh, with the current face of boxing. Um, that's no that's no easy task. And you know the fact that you know you're right. He he Munguia had no experience um, or, or the experience he needed. To uh, to go up against uh, you know the face of boxing now, um, you know obviously we thought in this corner that you know he was going to take care of business, but I, I I think he performed excellent. I think his stock went up. I believe he was at if you want to base this on on, on social media numbers, uh, he was at like three hundred thousand followers, and now he's like up to one point three. So he gained a, a million new fans, which is incredible. I have to ask you about one. I don't want to call it a conspiracy, but something I saw in the 12th round when Canelo, okay. with about a minute and a half to go, landed a 3-2 on Jaime. And it looked to my eyes, Oscar, that he kind of propped him up a little bit at the end of that 12th round. I don't know if you saw the sequence that I'm referring to, but do you think yeah, it's did. possible that Canelo let Jaime Munguia finish? No, 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 no not, not possible at all. Um, look, w when you're inside the ring and not that it was a close fight, but you know it was it was an action back and forth type of fight where Canelo was getting hit. Uh, you never want to carry your opponent. You never want to. You never want to. You know, take it to the judges if you have an opportunity to knock them out. It just does it instinctively as as a fighter. You just you just don't want that. And um, I just felt that you know Canelo and Jaime obviously were tired. Um, it might have been, you know, a combination and they got close and his hand maybe was, you know, in the way there and it seemed like he was holding him up or something. But no, it's uh, if Canelo had the opportunity and the gas to finish him, he would have finished him. Way to rain on my conspiracy theory, Oscar. I was, <laughs> that was a good I'm just one. speaking the truth, brother. <laughs> Well, make sure you check out the El Rey Rebel Fast channel. Air some of those memorable fights in recent boxing history. As you heard Oscar say, the good ones of his and the bad ones of his will all yeah. be on the El Rey Rebel Fast channel, part of the new Friday Night Fight series that launched this past Friday. Oscar, always good to catch up, man. Thanks for your time. Yeah, thank and, and I also just wanted to wanted to say that, yeah, um, you know, we're, we're introducing boxing to a whole new audience, a younger audience, a diverse audience, uh, an audience that wants to that wants to that that's intrigued by watching these classic fights and they're not only my fights they're all the fights that, in my library uh that goes from pacquiao to mayweather to canelo to all the very best fighters in the world but yeah I, i'm i'm very proud that we can introduce boxing to a younger demographic and you know, that's what it's all about what's the fight that you watch that has that you were not in what's the fight that you love to watch and have watched three four times or more over the course of your life um you know i mean the hearns and hearns and Hagler, yeah. obviously yeah. any 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 pacquiao fight as well with morales and barrera i i just love those action-packed fights you know where where people were always uh on their feet where people were just you know cheering throughout the whole fight just screaming i miss those days yeah no question about it there's nothing better 
than when boxing is really good. When you have a great fight, there's nothing better. No sports, exactly. Super Bowl, NBA Finals, nothing better than nothing better. boxing. Oscar, appreciate it. Good to catch up. Okay, you got it, brother. Thank you.